Tomorrow is a big day, gentlemen. Got a lot of things going on. First things first, cherry popping. Cherry pop. Yeah. We're going to get her out. I don't know if you call it the first run. It's going to be a test run. I got the electronics set up. Actually, I just did an update on Lawrence. That fish reveal is going to be on there. Bunch of new things to test out. That should be interesting. I also, I don't know if it's going to come in handy, I scored um, a new endurance rod, like the new rods. I used to love the old Powell endurance. I got one of the new endurances. It's actually a spinning rod. I screwed up my old um, drop shot rod. So I picked up, it's a seven foot three, I think, medium light. So we get to test that. So many new things. But yeah, new boat. Gonna get wet. Hopefully catch some fish. Like I said, it's really gonna be a testing run. I gotta see if these electronics are synced up right. Things are gonna work a little bit different and it's gonna be new and fresh like you gotta relearn everything that's why i have a dishwasher in the back of my truck kind of ghetto still in the back of my truck but yeah i think bog is excited i'm super excited we're gonna go out on my deep water stuff because i do need to test stuff i do need to test the these lawrence units and especially with the new update i want to see what they can do what it looks like if it's a gimmick, if it's real, it looks pretty damn cool, which I'm kind of excited about. I, there's this whole story about me running hooks on the front, and I can pick up shell bars with it using structure scan, and I can't see them on other graphs. That's a whole big story, but based upon what the update looks like, that might have solved my problem. We got to see, though. The only way to know is to go out and do. But plan for tomorrow, we're going to get out there. We're going to go out with a buddy of mine, so it should be kind of interesting. And um, new boat. New boat, like it does feel real, it doesn't feel real. I just want to fish, dude. I feel like I'm freaking haven't wet a line in months, even though I haven't been that long. But yeah, so that's the plan tomorrow. We're gonna go deep, and then I'm actually I don't know if you see any video because it's been kind of tough, but I'm gonna go fish Okeechobee too a little bit um, later, like a couple days afterwards. Kind of you know feel out the grass, get a feel for it, check it out, see how things roll. But I'm excited. I hope you're excited. So watch the video. Hopefully it'll be good and I catch a giant, pop the cherry. New toys, new Paul Endurance, new uh, new graph update. We'll see how that plays. And I love technology, but technology doesn't always like me. But let's get this thing rolling, hey? Right, Bog? Let's do this. We got the new boat. We're gonna go break her in, test her out, and see what happens. It's about uh, five in the morning. We dump this dishwasher off. It's like a new toy. I mean, ain't gonna have another day like this. boys and girls good morning virgin ride on the boat i'm hanging out with my buddy scott from hey. ohio and i already have this crazy freaking update running on the lawrence and it looks weird really weird so we got a lot of getting used to between the boat the update it's freaking cold out so i got a feeling we're gonna be using the new like drop shot rod it's going to be an interesting day but needs to happen we need to break this thing in and uh, figure some things out about it make sure she's tweaked right and then um kind of put the closing finishing touches on and move forward and finally get back to fishing so that's the plan for today i don't know if we're going to catch fish uh, scott wanted to see some of the deeper stuff kind of learn about you know seeing the graph and what's down there i want to understand this new fish reveal and these new lawrence updates and these new color palettes so we got bog in a sweater got me all bundled up scott's bundled up and he's from freaking ohio dude so he's he's cold everybody cold son uh but it should be an interesting day hopefully we catch some fish and pop the cherry in the right way but let's get it started what we got going on here oh, that's solid good solid dude. dude that's like four and a half yeah i thought it felt like it was bigger than that other one. Oh, that's a solid one that's what we're looking for Fatty bo batty. Bob, get. Get. Lead the fish along. Ate it up. Shh, shh, shh. Get now. It's snapping. Do it. There we go. Nice job, dude. Don't say Where's he at? All right. Oh, heads up, heads up. Oh, dude, that's bigger than I thought. He right behind us. You're good. We're working on 20 pretty quick here. Bob, 
Leave him alone. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's solid. That's oh, dude. Tall. But totally postponed. You see that gut on her? How it just streamlines back instead of being all fat? Look at this. She's got her mouth full of baits in here. She got a. Oh, poor girl. Is that? Got a like an old trick worm. I don't know if it's got a hook on it or not. I'm trying to help you. That's craziness. Oh, cut tail worm. Scotty, that's that's about a five, dude. That's maybe five and change. That's a solid one. All right, gentlemen. Fish on, boys. Yeah, I feel a little bit better. Knock the skunk out of the That's a that's a cherry popper right there, gentlemen. Right, out, right there, man. She doesn't like the fact that she caught. It's just a post spawn fish. And uh, Scott was catching them on that swing head. Here she comes. And uh, so post spawn shell wall right here. And uh, I've always had luck with this jig rig that I use. That was a solid one, boys. And uh, so it's just like a little wacky rig jig deal, football head. And we're dragging over that shell. But I got, I got some catching up to do on Scott here. So we gotta get back to it. But that is the cherry popper, boys. See you later. Nice. Needed that. It's getting a little frustrated. Alright, we'll get it re rigged. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he came off. God, my. Scotty. Oh, he doubled that rod when I hit him. Really? Oh, man. Uh oh. Scotty's got something to cry about now. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Alright, guys. Scotty just lost a Jigunda Mondo and he broke him off. So we need to make up a, uh, a swing head. And I got these no hook swing heads because I like putting my own stuff on them. I'm real picky. So we're gonna take this big old split ring and slide it right through the loop right there. The reason I know it's the right loop in the right direction is because when I put a hook on there, it's gonna face upward. So let me grab one of those hooks, Scott. You got it, buddy. So I got a four rod. This is a Y gap plus owner, real super standard hook. I like them. They don't freaking open. They stay sharp and they're not expensive. So we're going to pop this thing out. The biggest, most important part about this is you want the tip of the hook up with that eye of the, um, the wobble head. Otherwise it's going to be hooked wrong. It's not going to be rigged right. So we want to go just like this, get that split ring in there. We're going to probably fast forward through this. Once you get it through, you slip through and uh, go ahead and pull it through. And what you end up with, you can see the eye of our swing head is up, the point of the hook is up. And that's important because it's just going to go just like this. Do, 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 do. Saw one on a, on a Nico rig. Not the one we're looking for, but. About two and a half, though. I got a feeling there's some more where she came from. Oh, she got it good, though. All right, let's get her back. But yeah, dude, just uh, saw it. Me and Scott were actually just talking about it. I mean, it's a pretty simple rig. Take a stick bait, put like a quarter ounce freaking nail in the head, wacky rig it, and cast it and shake it. All right, gents, we are about midday. Um, Boat's been working pretty great. Don't totally have a good feel for this fish reveal yet. And there's not, the problem is there's not a bunch of schooling fish like there were. And that makes it hard to kind of get a baseline. One thing I do at the ramp, and I've mentioned to a couple of you guys who've asked me about how I identify stuff on my graph. I'm not super skilled, but I've learned to kind of figure out a few things, let's call it. But there are some rocks as well as some shell at the boat ramp where we dropped in. So what I've done is I'll always kind of tune my graph 
and look at what that bottom looks like right at the boat ramp and it gives me a sort of baseline for when I get out there in 20 feet of water when I can't see what the bottom looks like I know what it's supposed to look like on the graph because at the ramp I looked at what was shell looked at the graph got a good feel for it and then you can apply that in other places but it's just kind of a little way you can cheat it's always good to cheat cut corners and that but we are midday um, it, freaking Scotty's been the the highlight of the day man slow dragon he's basically teaching me how to fish a, a swing head slow worming taking your time putting a few snaps in there he's missed some freaking giants that I would have liked to see but I gotta say we're near 20 pounds we're probably 18 19 pounds in um in five fish or five best and uh, caught him a, a mainly swing head football jig um wacky football jig three quarter ounce that swing head's a half ounce with a stick bait a fat ace on the back and also caught a couple on an eco rig and the one wild card was scotty just caught probably like a four four and change on a, a 10xd style bait i think it's the six cents uh, kind of a random fish though i, I don't think that bite's going to be happening especially with the mood that they're in these fish are super post spawn super slow super lethargic but they'll still eat you just gotta you gotta fish to them you know you gotta fish in their mode definitely a little bit shallower than we've been catching them too we're focusing anywhere from 15 to 20 foot of water and um it's always more fun to fish the shell bars because they're a little more open water but we're transitioning here we're going to hop a few brush piles see if we can't get one more fish any day you catch 20 pounds in my opinion is a good day and we get with one more fish we're well into 20 so that's what we're shooting for we got scotty on the front dragging that swing head i figured he could kind of put that fish in real quick but we're not going to let him take full advantage here we're going to sneak up there with him and uh, see what we can put together for the rest of the day Nearly as big as she fought, I'll tell you that much. Not nearly, but we had it right in the top of the mud. We got a good hook set on her, which you guys missed, but it's about five, five and change. She's still got a little, little belly on her. Her back real quick. Now let's get Scott on up because he's good for a big one. See you later, home friends. All right, cool. Let me get you lined up, dude, because we are way off. All right, guys, that is a wrap for the day. I don't know how I feel about Fish Reveal. I don't know how I feel about fish reveal I don't get it totally I need to play around with it because it's marking things that are bait but not bass so I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do and you get separation off that I'm not a hundred percent sure so it's something I definitely need to play with a bit but any day is a good day when you catch 20 pounds and we probably had maybe 21 ish or so we had, we had a solid string which was sweet because it's always tough this time of year it's post spawn and it's really about dragging and I, and I learned something from Scott too man just slowing down I get out of practice and I get rusty dude freaking I know what the post spawn bite is it, it's slow dragging whether it's a jig wobblehead you know that Ned head now uh, drop shot you, you fish slow you drag you fish brush you fish shell bars you fish a little bit shallower those are the keys when it comes to that post spawn bite those fish are there they just they don't want to eat like they did you know a month ago when they were chowing down on those 10 xds and freaking you're just buzzing it and you got to get out of that mode and that's that's kind of the mode i'm in but watching uh, watching scott's retrieve was really kind of key too because he's just he's like slow dragging that wobble head but then he's he's like 
twatching it, twitching. I don't know what the twatching it. Nice. He's twitching it, and and that's those little nuances when when these fish are on a drag bite really make the difference because everybody's going to get out here and they're going to drag. I mean, it's it's simple. You drag super duper slow, but mixing it up with a few twitches, you know, different cadence can really be the key to getting some bigger bites. But Scott, biggest fish of the day? Around five and a half, probably. New boat is freaking sweet. It's gonna take some getting used to, dude. I am super uncomfortable in this thing. I go to grab for something, you know, like where it is in my old boat, it's not there, or there's no compartment there. It's it's different. I don't feel very comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of miss my old boat, but change is a good thing. You gotta embrace it. I'll get used to this thing, get tweaked, get you know on point with doing things, and it'll fish just as good, if not better, than the uh, than the old one. And it's new, man. How can you beat something like new and fresh? Like it, it's a good feeling. But that's a wrap. Make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and uh, support Real Fishing. But we're going to check out, wrap this thing up. I want to go get some dinner and get through this video. And Scott needs to head back to Ohio. Enjoy the cold, dude. <laughs> that's a wrap, guys. All right, tight line until next time. <laughs>